Set up the fractional distillation, you need to have a fractionating column. A fractionating column is one that actually has steel wool inside the column. It looks like a condenser, but it has something inside. And what it does is, of course, it provides a lot of little spaces for simple distillation to occur. So that's what you will need in between your round bottom flask and the three-way connector. You still need a thermometer as you would in a simple distillation. So if I were to remove the fractionating column over here, everything else is going to be exactly the same as simple distillation, okay? So all we have done is added the fractionating column, which really elevates everything up, okay, uh, in general. But anyhow, so here is your fractionating column. The thermometer goes here. Just again, the bulb should be right here where the condensation will start taking place. You will still have the water running through the condenser, okay, no problems there. And then, of course, you need a collecting flask, okay? And the receiving flask for fractional distillations, you really... Uh, you sometimes will need to measure things, okay? So you can use a grad cylinder or you can use uh, flasks also, okay? And so if, you're, if you don't want to use a grad cylinder, you want to use a flask. So in case of uh, when you're trying to use a flask to collect the liquid, then you may actually need to elevate this because look how low this is. So if you need to get another lab jack, get another lab jack and, you know, um, elevate okay, the collecting flask. I'm going to use a grad cylinder for now. But this is how you would set up for a fractionating column. Now, for the fractional distillation, you still have the same uh, rheostat and the heating mantle. Everything else is the same. Your heating rate is going to be very slow because you want to do fractional distillation at a very slow pace. All right? But everything else is the same. Uh, you still need the boiling chips inside the, uh, the flask here. Okay? So uh, that's how you would set up for fractional distillation.